nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And lift off. They couldn't stop, and Elon Musk's door slammed in their faces. In order to prevent the launch of the Turksat 5A satellite, Elon Musk's company SpaceX was showered with messages and Musk was asked to cancel the agreement. Of course these efforts proved fruitless. 5A was launched into space in January of this year and was in orbit within a few months. This defeat did not stop these lobbies. With the same effort, they targeted the next project, this time setting their sights on a 5B. The Hellenic American Leadership Council and the Armenian National Committee of America spend a great deal of energy trying to stop SpaceX, which also launched Turkey's 5B satellite into space. Not only did they harass SpaceX, which was not bothered by their previous obstruction efforts, they also sent a letter to the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. In the letter, they argued that the satellite would be used for a dangerous military exercise, and for that reason, they requested that the launch be blocked. The council and the committee also sent letters to SpaceX. They expected to reach a different result by taking the same path, but of course, that didn't happen. They were met by defeat at the end of the road once again. Ultimately, their excitement came to an end on December 2021. Despite all the pressure from both lobbies, Turkey's new communications satellite was successfully launched from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in the state of Florida. In short, the Greek and Armenian lobbies in America were left empty-handed. However, they will not have to wait long to once again launch a propaganda campaign against Turkey, as the Transport and Infrastructure Ministry announced the good news that the development of the 6A is nearing completion. The days when the 6A will take its place space are very near. We are now in the testing phase. We plan to launch it into space in 2023, he said. The news of the 6A must have already begun to resonate in the U.S. Hearing this, the lobbies will once again roll up their sleeves, and their emails and letters will shoot through the air. But we know that they will once again be left empty-handed.